What up, it's your boy NWP, and today I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks of my own personal uh, findings for blackout, but before we do that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, take the time right now to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell just next to it so that you can get alerted any time that I drop a new video. If you like this video at any time, hit the thumbs up, and if you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, drop them in the box below. Also... I'll be give, doing a giveaway every 1,000 subscribers until 10,000. So if you'd like to enter that, hit the subscribe button and notification bell. Also, in the description, we're currently running another giveaway for $50 in your gaming currency. So that's uh, basically $100 in gaming currency that we're going to give away as soon as we hit 1,000 subscribers. And then $50 every 1,000 after that. So, yeah, anyways, guys, <clears throat> let's talk about some tips, tricks. Uh, you know, and whatnot, you know, just ideas even that will help you get better at blackout. Okay. So the first thing I want to mention 100% absolutely is use your gadgets and toolkit. Okay. So the rocket launcher is a weapon, but in blackout, it's more of a tool. So as you can see there, I pulled it out and I got that kill because of it. Now, that doesn't mean that, that we're just talking about stuff like that. Okay, we are going to be talking about like the grappling hook, uh, your flashbangs, your grenades, your concussions, your smoke screens. All of these things can come in great handy. The uh, the shield, the barbed wire, you know, obviously your uh, medic, you know, the med kits and stuff like that. So here's one that I want to get one of my other tips right here to go along with that toolkit as a side note is never be afraid to use your bandages while you're running away, evading, uh, just hiding for just a moment. Try and get that bandaid off if you can. Um, another small like tip that you just go with Black Ops 4 in general is like that guy up in the corner there. People are going to be in weird places. Never expect people to be any given place. That's just, you know, that's a bad idea. Don't assume that somebody's going to be somewhere helpful for you. Um, so right there, the first two easy ones for you are going to be just that people don't really think about is try to remember your toolkit, okay, big time. Remember what you've picked up without having to go into your inventory all that often. So here you go, another another uh, I should, like example of me using the toolkit is catching this guy off guard after I heard him pull up on his little uh, quad over there. So you really want to be able to use these tools to your advantage. Okay. I drop incoming. Now another thing is is make sure you have <clears throat> a, a variable loadout in terms of your weaponry. Don't have two SMGs. Don't have two shotguns unless it's absolutely necessary at the beginning of the game, and you're just trying to avoid somebody else picking up a weapon that's nearby. Now a lot, some of these tips will not work in duos, so you can't necessarily uh, pick up easy, the easiest kills. And, and duos by doing certain tactics or being stealthy, you know what I mean? So, don't cause too much noise in any of the game modes, but bear in mind that you don't have to worry about a second person attacking you or a third or fourth when you're in solos. Now, another idea here is use the long grass to your advantage at moments. Don't, you don't necessarily need to be camping and stay here, but you don't know what's going on. You don't know where the gunfire is. You don't know where people are. Take a second to listen. Your ears can be way more perceptive than your eyes Further in such an environment. Okay? Because even though it's just a video game, in this environment, what you hear is going to be way more accurate than what you see. You're like the little debris and stuff that they've added over the years in the games and, and like the butterflies and the birds and all the little moving effects out there can trick you into thinking that you've seen something that you did not see. So when you hear in a game, the sound, especially in a video game, okay, in a video game, the sounds are there, they're real, they're not ever going to be exactly the same. So you're not going to hear the footsteps. sounds like a footstep or you know, thunder that sounds exactly like a gunshot. They will all be very distinct when it's a video game with no, with no muddiness in it. So, obviously, this would be uh, a side little thing that's goes into your audio settings and change your audio actual equalizer setting or preset to super crunch. This will emphasize footsteps for you 
your footsteps, enemy footsteps, everything. Very, it's basically a very specific um, preset to the sounds, so that uh, you know uh, a very specific kind of bassy pattern comes up a little bit more. It's great in multiplayer as well. Obviously, this is a multiplayer, but you know what I'm saying, guys. Now, like I was saying, the, the big thing about the variable loadout, okay? You don't want two close-range weapons, okay, at any given time. Now, that doesn't mean you don't want two SMGs. That means that you don't want two close-range SMGs. A GKS shoots across the map, no problem. So, if you got the GKS, whatever. Now, be very weary that at any given point, you know, the 30 hertz server situation probably does affect Blackout a lot more because of the size of the scale of how many people are in it and how much data is actually parsed every tick that 30 hertz is probably still bad for this type of game. But H1Z1 and like PUBG all went the same route with it, you know, trying to be kind of weird. So... You know, with a few more minutes left in this game here, as I've, you know, I've edited out a big chunk of it because it's just ridiculously long. And uh, for a COD game, this is absolutely slow, in my opinion, at least. Like, for for COD and a Battle Royale, this doesn't doesn't feel right to me. I, I'm honestly, I've got about four wins today, and I don't think I had nearly as much fun as playing any multiplayer. So, yeah. But, um... Yeah, so, you know, another thing that I want to point out is don't be afraid to be a little bit daring and ballsy. I mean, it is COD. This is, a, this is a huge one. This is probably my biggest tip to you guys. If you've made it this far in the video and you want the biggest tip that's going to help you get better at Blackout is this is not PUBG. This is not Fortnite. This is not H1Z1. This is not DayZ, okay? This is Call of Duty. Playing it like Call of Duty will net you more advantage than not okay and right here with the sniper i'll show you what i'm talking about if this was PUBG, if this was h1 or any other game when i got up here this guy was already taking a shot at me but he's not he's gonna lay down and get sniped after he's got two hit okay and look massive jump really no damage taken do not be afraid to play cod like it's cod that is my biggest advised, suggestion to all of you guys is whenever you're playing so. blackout Play it like it's COD. It is COD. That means that the gunfights, no matter where you are, are going to be COD gunfights. They're going to be where you expect them to be in a sense, but not. You know what I mean? Like if they're camping, they're not going to be where you expect them to be. But when they're running and strafing around a building, they're going to go right where they, you think they're going to go. They're going to come and, like, they're basically they're going to challenge you is more what I'm saying. Like if you expect somebody to I challenge you, they are Circle going to challenge you imminent. because it is Get COD. To and a lot of these people are just COD players. They're not, you know, big time PUBG players like you see playing. And, and you know, if you're playing on PC, like I feel bad for you. Like, unfortunately, like this is a console game that you should be playing on a console. And, uh, you know, all the but like all the normal tactics really do count still, like getting high ground. Um, getting weapon packs, you know, using everything you have in your backpack towards the end of the game, etc., etc. You know, all these type of things really do help out. So I hope that at least a little bit of what I've said is like maybe helped you out a little bit. But when it really comes down to it at the end of the day, finding your targets, executing them, and be. like, you know, right there where I jumped off the roof, playing it like it's caught will benefit you the most. And, uh, yeah, but just like any other Battle Royal, the bots that play, Major there's instability gonna detected. be probably 90 of them in a 100 man game. And, uh, <clears throat> you can see me looking for this guy. He's throwing stuff at me, being just a general jackass, and somehow he dies. I don't even understand where he could have been that would have got him killed right here, but, uh, you know, this is, this is real life right here, guys. This is what happens in Blackout. And probably why a lot of people really like Blackout. That's the last one. It's quite easy. All so as you can see quit. there, Stand no down. kill for the victory. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Here's two other videos you can check out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. As always, have a good one.